Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, today's video, I've got a bit of a shorter one here, but it's something that's highly, highly requested. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the different steps and tips that I do to make my videos look as clean and as crisp as possible. So, if you would like to make your videos look a lot higher quality and just a lot smoother, then make sure to watch the whole video all the way through. I'm going to be showing you my render settings, my project settings, and also why I add to my clips to make them look a lot better. So yeah, make sure to stick around, watch the whole video all the way through for that because you do not want to miss out on anything super important. So before the video starts guys, please can you do me a super quick favour by just dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with post notifications on. It literally takes about two seconds out of your day but really does mean a lot to me so I do really appreciate that. And if you would like to support me even further, you can use code Tara in the item shop. That also means so much to me, you don't understand. But yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you which you really do need to do in order to get the best possible quality for your videos is copy my project and render settings. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to this little cog up here, go to the settings, then you just want to go ahead and copy all of these right here. So you want to go to the resolution, make sure this is on 2560 by 1440 and that's basically going to give your quality uh, a boost because it's a higher resolution than 1920 by 1080. If you do want to do 4K you can go ahead and do that but the render time on that will be quite a long uh, time. Next thing you want to go do, pixel format on 8-bit, best resolution, rendering quality on best and then go ahead and copy these. Make sure you do have disable resample on audio i just have it on the default i'm pretty sure this is but yeah this is just the regular audio audio doesn't really matter too much uh and then you can go ahead and copy the rest of these yeah i think that's all regular you just need to mainly worry about this first page make sure your frame rate is on 60 because you don't want it to be not smooth now for the render settings you want to go to file render as then you want to go to magics avc slash aac mp4 then you want to select if you want to start from scratch you just want to go to the 19 or the 1080p 60 fps and if you have an nvidia graphics card choose this one if not choose this one then you want to go to customize template and copy these settings right here i'm going to show you what i do for mine so i have the resolution the exact same as the project settings the fps on 59.94 and then my bit rate is 50 million by 28 million I use the NV encoder so my graphics card can render the video faster. If you do have a NVIDIA graphics card, I highly suggest you choose that. Then I put it on low latency, high quality, and the RC mode on VBR, high quality. Then on the audio, uh, I just have these settings right here. System, I don't think you have to worry about this too much. And on the project, make sure you have the video rendering quality on best and the stereoscopic 3D mode on user, uh, use the project settings. And yeah. That right there is basically my project and render settings now let's get on to some things you can add to the clip to just make it look a lot nicer okay guys so one thing that you may have heard of before and i highly suggest you use is rsmb now it does increase your render times but i'm going to show you a way that you can actually make it so it doesn't take too long so link below i'm going to have a video on exactly how to get the gpu accelerated rsmb now this is basically an rsmb that uses your graphics card to render it a lot faster and I'm going to be showing you the best possible settings to make your videos look so, so smooth and clean. So, just want to go ahead and got, uh, put the RSMB on. It could be the default version. On the used GPU, make sure this is on. So, that's going to allow your graphics card to render it and make it a lot faster. And then the blur amount onto 0.25 and the sensitivity onto 60. And yeah, that's basically all you need to do. It's basically just going to make everything so much smoother. As you can see, when I'm just going frame by frame, you might see a bit of blur. And that's just the motion blur coming into play and just looking really, really nice. So I highly suggest that you guys do use RSMB. Another thing that a lot of editors are using nowadays is called Sharpen. Now this can make your clips a lot more crisp, but in my opinion, I don't really like it. If you were to use it, I would recommend putting the Sharpen amplitude on about like 0.5. It's not too sharp, but it will just make the sort of edges a bit more crisp. And as you can see, it does kind of increase the quality of the clip in some people's opinion. Which if you do like this style then go ahead and do it. I just thought I'd show it off because I know a lot of people are asking what this is. So yeah guys that's basically the whole video there. Sorry it's a bit of a short one but this was highly requested so I thought I'd give it to you guys. If this video did help you out guys then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. It really really does mean a lot and I do thank every single one of you that have been supporting me recently. It really does mean a lot. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.